Welcome to Trionic 7, the YouTube channel for Saab enthusiasts. I'm Jonathan and I'm here with my 2002 Saab 95 Aero in laser red. This time I'll be installing a performance mod. And the pipe you see here is the air intake pipe from a Saab 95 diesel. Uh, it's usually called a diesel snorkel and it's an upgrade because it's much bigger than the stock in intake pipe on the 2002 Aero. The snorkel goes from the air filter housing, which is uh, just in front of the right front wheel, and goes up and behind the grille. The diesel snorkel is probably the cheapest mod you can do to your Saab 95. This pipe costs something like 200 or 250 Swedish kroner, which is something like 25 euros. But I also know that many of the newer Saab 95s, somewhere around 04, people have started mentioning that this pipe is actually mounted from factory. Many of you will probably say, oh, why don't you just get a cold air intake or an open air filter or something like this. But I won't. This is a daily driver car. I'm not really keen on open air filters anyway. But this car needs to run in any weather. Snow, ice, rain, whatever. Part number for the snorkel is 12846127. Uh, as you can see, this uh, this hose clamp is quite rusty, so I thought, why not get a new one? The part number for the hose clamp here is 244-15470. Before I forget, you should also remove the front grille. And it's three pieces. I only think you need to remove the middle one for this job. The bottom half is lifted up by pulling it inwards and releasing hooks that go like this. So you pull them out. You see the lower part is loose. The upper part is always a bit trickier, but you see the hook here and the hook there in the middle. You just need to push the plastic piece downwards and just jiggle it out carefully. Don't break the grill, it can be quite sensitive to pressure. Here is the snorkel, and you see that the stock snorkel is much thinner than the new one that we're going to put in. From now on, I recommend that you have protective goggles on at all times, since we'll be working under the car. Uh, but also use some uh, penetrating oil to, to loosen up those bolts. There's one up here. The car is jacked up and we're ready to go under. Always when lifting a car, I mean, I shouldn't have to tell you this, but always use jack stands. You see the jack stand there. I also put uh, uh, the jack itself underneath just for extra protection. I also have a block of wood beneath each rear wheel. So we should be good to go. Okay, we're looking in under the car and you see this big plastic shield here. This will have to be removed to get to the snorkel. And therefore we're going to use some penetrating oil on all of those bolts. And this one is very rusty, so I'm going to use quite a bit of penetrating oil on that one. There you go. The bolts in the back are 8mm sockets and uh, the ones in the front are Torx T25. And uh, when it comes down, just put it to the side. Now we're below the car and you can see the snorkel going from the air filter housing up here and then to the front grille up there. The snorkel is just held in in two places. First there's an 8mm bolt here and then there's the hose clamp down at the air filter housing which we remove with a 7mm socket. So 8mm and 7mm and then I'll try to get everything loose. It seems like the horn brackets were in the way so I had to remove the two 10mm bolts here and then just uh, pull the horn brackets to the side. Otherwise the, the snorkel wouldn't get down. Okay, we're at the halfway point of removal. Uh, the stock pipe is so thin I could actually rotate it down and then I'm gonna pull it out from the air filter housing. Alright then, here we are. Then I put the new snorkel together with the, with the old snorkel so you can really see the difference. Imagine that all the air in the engine is restricted by this stupid little thing here. But now I have a nice big air intake hose. You see how, how flat the old one is compared to the new one. Alright, let's put the new diesel snorkel into the car. My hunch was right. This pipe is so big that it's really a friction fit to get inside. Uh, I tried for a few minutes just to, to uh, lift it in without pushing it, but it wouldn't go in anyway. So I had to use a bit of force, I had to pull a bit on the spoiler to the side and just push it upwards and bloop, it went in. 
Now I just need to connect the hose clamp and put the horn brackets back on and put the upper bolt back in. And we're done. It is always a bit fiddly to get the pipe on and off the air filter housing here, but you just need to wiggle the pipe back and forth and then it will pop on. So the hose clamp is on, I also put up the bolt up behind the grill and the horn brackets too. And I've checked to see that when I wiggle the hose it doesn't collide with anything. The plastic cover is coming back on and the trickiest part here is to realize that you need to put the black plastic over the painted surface here. In my case the red surface. So the screws go in here and screw into the, uh, the threads on the plastic. And just as the sun came out, the job is done. You see I put the bolt back on here, I put the horn brackets back with the 10mm bolts. Now all that's left to do is to put the grill back on and then lower the car to the ground. It's been about a week since I installed the diesel snorkel and when I put up the picture on our Instagram account I got a lot of questions about how this works. So I thought why not answer a few of the common questions I got to make a sort of quick diesel snorkel FAQ right here in the video. Question number one. How many extra horsepower does this mod add? And the answer is simple because that's zero. So no extra horsepower but slightly reduced turbo lag. Question number two. Will I notice any difference? And my answer is no. You need to look at numbers. In my case with OpenSID I can see a slight reduction in turbo lag. It's too subjective to measure your oomph from your driver's seat. Question number three. Is there any difference in sound of the engine? This is also a subjective question which I feel the answer is no to. I haven't heard any difference in turbo sound. Question number four. Why don't I just remove the snorkel altogether? The answer to that question is simple, because I do not want and do not recommend to anyone to have a large hole pointing forward a few centimeters above the ground. That will just suck in debris and water and make a big mess. Question number five. How do I know if I have the diesel snorkel installed? That is very simple. You just remove the center grill as I showed in the video. And if the snorkel inside is flat and narrow like this, then you have the small snorkel. If it is round enough to almost put a tennis ball in, then you have the diesel snorkel. Question number six. Where can I purchase the diesel snorkel? Well, the simple solution is that you call your closest Saab dealer, give them the part number and they will get it for you. Again, the diesel snorkel is quite cheap for a performance mod. Question number seven. Are there any drawbacks? The answer is no. So to sum everything up, in my opinion this is a no-brainer. The mod is so cheap that you should really go ahead and install it if you don't already have an open air kit or the diesel snorkel installed. And also if you want to put some more horsepower, and that means putting in a new chip, then the engine will probably need a bit more airflow. So the diesel snorkel is a requirement for tuning, in my opinion. Thank you all for the ongoing support to this channel. I really like that you all keep liking and subscribing and commenting on these videos and it seems like you really appreciate the content that I'm putting up. Please give me more feedback about what you want to see on this channel in the next year and I hope to be able to make good videos in the coming future. We have a lot of stuff coming up so be sure to stay tuned. And that's the end of the diesel snorkel install video. I hope you liked it and if you have any questions please leave them below or follow us on social media. We have Google+, Reddit, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.